Hey everyone, this is Alan from BMW Durham back again with another video. So today I want to show you some of the new features that they've updated on the My BMW app. But now they've added the ability that if you click on here, you can do more than just set the next departure time. You can actually set the full schedule. So uh, time and weekday twice, as well as a one-time in instance. So that was not available before. Another thing that they added is this thing here called My Trips. So if you already had the BMW app uh, connected to your vehicle, uh, this won't happen automatically. Uh, I'll show you in the BMW in iDrive 7 where you need to go in order to make this work. But basically what it will do is every single day it logs uh, how many liters per 100 kilometers I've used. And if I click here on All Trips, I can actually see to give you an example, yesterday uh, I went uh, 8.3 kilometers in 10 minutes using 24.6 liters per 100 kilometers. That's absolutely horrible. And it says what time I left, what time I got back, and where I am. So uh, this information might help you if you're trying to gauge your fuel economy statistics. But if you do not want this information, then make sure you turn off the My Trips in, uh, in what you're looking for for uh, data privacy and analysis. Uh, also, I want you to know that this is tied to your profile. The thing that I wanted to show you is if we go over here to where it says options, so one thing you can do is you can go to app themes. So originally, the app would always just be the color of your car, which you can still do, but we've also got powerful, luxurious, 50 years of M, visionary, alpine white, frozen brilliant white metallic, M Donington Grey Metallic, uh, Black Sapphire Metallic, Signal Green, British Racing Green, uh, Phytonic Blue, Melbourne Red, Night Blue Metallic, uh, Champagner Quartz 2 Metallic, Speedy Yellow, and Sunset Orange. So, number of different choices. I personally like the 50 Years of M, so I'm going to leave it on that one. And also just wanted let, to let you guys know that you can also... Uh, adjust the units here that actually happened on the last update but in case you didn't know this is where you can adjust your units so those are some of the changes to the my bmw app uh, definitely some good changes and i uh, haven't tried it yet but i want to see what happens if i put a vin number for an incoming vehicle in to see what it'll actually show uh, i know in the u.s you guys get the ability to track the vehicle at every step in terms of production uh, we don't get that here in canada and i don't think the app is going to provide that to us but uh, it is something that I've, I've i've asked bmw canada to add in so let's see how that goes all right guys, so this is iDrive 7. If I scroll down here to where it says apps, I click on that and I have installed apps highlighted. I'll hit the physical option button down here. It says update apps and services. I will click on that. We'll see this transferring data there for a moment and then it says apps and services updated. Now we'll maybe take a minute or two until this actually happens, so just wait a minute. Uh, once you've waited a minute, go to car. You'll then go to settings and general settings and you'll be at the top if you go all the way down here to where it says data privacy you'll go down to where it says individual selection and if you look here it says my trips here so if you do check this off then you will be able to use the app in your profile to be able to log and see all your trips however if you don't want this information then make sure that this is not checked off all right, so those were the uh, new additions to the My BMW app. Uh, it looks like the app just updated a, like a week or two ago. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.